uh, tell me when you're uh, tell me when you're good. All right. Hey guys. Um, so random science thing today. Uh, we tried this once before and it got uh, um, uh, wiped off of YouTube. So I'm gonna do a little demo on um, hypothermia. So I'm gonna take my temperature. I'll be I'm not supposed to talk, but I'll talk for a little bit. Hmm. That's not right. Okay. We haven't had ice on the pond in months. It's April. Uh, we've had some warm days, cold nights. Um, so some folks think, hey, it's just cold water, but we're going to see what it can actually do. My temperature should be 98.6, but I'm not. I'm 97.6 generally. At 95, so me, at 94, hypothermia, that is officially hypothermia. It's still going up. Ninety-seven three. Ninety-seven seven. Ninety-eight. Okay, 98.2, here we go. Oh, oh. Ah. Huh. Okay, I gotta get the thermometer, thermometer. Uh, I'm not faking it. <laughs> mm. Mmm. Hmm. Laundry it too. Hmm. And of course we forgot to put a timer on. I'm doing this for about one minute. I'll raise my shirt. Oh geez. Raise my shirt up too. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think, Jerry? Pretty cold. Mm, a minute? It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a minute. We're at 96.6. So it's 98.2, 96.6. Um, can I do subtraction? Uh, uh, one and six tenths degrees Fahrenheit. So if it had gone down another uh, two or three degrees, that's possibly officially hypothermia. Now that's not a super scientific uh, thermometer there. But let me tell you, it's cold. Uh, when hypothermia sets in, bad stuff starts happening. Uh, your body starts shutting down and it starts uh, taking blood and going to your core trying to keep it warm and uh, you start losing the ability to move your uh, hands, legs, feet, all that. It's bad and I'll tell you it's mighty cold right now. So do not do this at home uh, but just a quick sample to show you uh, what can go on. The water looks nice and safe but uh, man it's cold. Goodbye everybody. See you tomorrow.